Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. Happy The Morning Wednesdays. I just did a video six feet deep live at Vacken. Go check that out. That is live at the exact same time this one is. Forgot to turn my warning light on. Honestly, Mondays. I film on Mondays, just so you guys know. Um, listen, the Pepsi Center content is getting out of hand. It's coming out really quick. I can't keep up. So we're going to do double whammies. So I'm going to do a more and 23 in this video. In the next video that you're gonna see, because you're getting three videos from me today, I'm gonna do Kool-Aid Kids and Dust to Dust. Now listen, I know Black Holes is out. I'm ready, I'm excited, but I told myself I wanted to go in order of their performances, and I know Breathe is coming. And if Breathe comes after Black Holes, we might as well just cry in the same video. Do you know what I mean? Because let's be real. I know that's an emotional mess, and I'm ex I'm actually excited for it. But you guys remember, I haven't seen any of this show. I did not watch a single fan cam, and I have been waiting for a very long time to watch Breathe and Black Holes from this show. So you're going to have to wait till next week to see them, because unless I have time this week to film it, because Black Holes is staring at me. And I'm so excited to watch it, but I got five videos to do. But I'm going to wait for Breathe, because Black Holes and Breathe together, because I'm pretty sure they come one right after the other in the show, so that would make sense for me to do it. So let's get into a more in 23, and then after this video, you guys can watch Kool-Aid Kids. Oh, yeah, Dust to Dust and All Knives is in the same. Okay, so we're, we're going to do those three. We're going to do Kool-Aid Kids, Dust to Dust, and Doll Knives in one video so busy today. <laughs> I also have a hundred patron requests to do, but it's fine. It's fine. They'll forgive me. They'll forgive me. I hope they'll forgive me. All right, let's start with more. I'm so excited. We all love a little French in our lives, right? The thing is, is that these performances are just so freaking good. I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay. The bass, though. from Pow.
come on. Oh my god. That was insane. Guys, I'm not even going to lie. I don't know why I was getting teary-eyed. <laughs> but I was just thinking, are we ever going to hear that song live again? That's so sad. It's okay. Like, I'm actually crying. It's so sad to think that that might, that song might not be on their future. Why am I crying? I'm such a baby. Ugh. I'm not actually crying. I'm just like tearing because it's just sad because like, look how that crowd saying that French part of the song. Like they were in it to win it. Like they knew every freaking word. That crowd knows every single word to every single warning song. It's very impressive. The thing is, is that I don't know if we're going to hear that song live again, because where does it fit in the Keep Me Fed tour? And I'm curious, like, let me go see before I get into how phenomenal this performance was, um, what their set list has been like uh, the last couple nights. What are they doing? They did um, Baltimore and Boston. And I know they're going to be doing Brooklyn next, then another Brooklyn show. They're doing two Brooklyn shows. So that's cool. And then they're doing Cleveland. Okay, so let's go check out what they did. So intro 404, sick, Z, choke, came as Kerez, satisfied, escapism, burnout, which was the U.S. tour debut. More money consumed, disciple, sharks, how you call a dream, automatic sun, material. And then they, their encore consisted of Narcissista and Evolve. Now, my question is, are they doing the exact same thing every show? No. So in Boston, they did the same kind of intro. They had six feet deep. They had money, <laughs> which was a false start. Um, Disciple, it looks like they're shaking it up a little bit. So in Baltimore, they did Burnout, but in Boston, they did Six Feet Deep. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so maybe, maybe we'll get Apologize on one of these shows. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Okay, let's talk about this performance. Listen, Amour is a phenomenal song. But what had me at this performance, although it was just a 10 out of 10, it was an 11 out of 10, if you know what I mean, was Pau's drumming. I got so many chills. I actually didn't realize, and maybe because I've been so infatuated with their vocals and the music and melodies, that I just really haven't been paying attention to Pau's drumming on this song. The song goes so hard on the drums, and it's not a very hard song. That was so impressive. Like, I'm actually stunned on her drumming in this song. And she's singing backup vocals in this song, which is absolutely nuts. I'm never going to get over a drummer who can sing at the same time as they drum. Like, it's so alienish to me. It's just so foreign to me how someone can keep up. I just don't get it. How do you drum with your hands? That I get. <laughs> but you're also using your feet and then you're singing. And your harmonies are hard to do, but obviously they've been doing them for a long time because they obviously know these songs very well. It's magical, man. I'm telling you. It was 
It was awesome. I loved it. I loved it. The crowd killed it. Um, I'm surprised Danny sang the whole part. I thought she was going to let them sing, but I'm kind of glad she sang because it sounded beautiful. Her voice in this show, I don't know how they're sick. They sound amazing. Holy shoot. I got to stop swearing so much, but you know, if you guys don't mind, I'm probably just going to keep swearing. Let's do 23. I'm really excited to watch 23 as well. I'm excited to watch all of these. Let's be real. This crowd is stupid. I love every single one of you at this show, by the way. All of you. Instant love. <laughs> Sounds like an Avril Lavigne song. Wait, I have to start again. I don't know why that melody just reminded, well, I couldn't tell you why she felt that way. No? What song is that? She wants to go home, but nobody's home. That's what it reminded me of. This crowd is magical. This is so pretty. This little intro. I want more of this. I looked at you same as before. What had changed I do not know. But the thought of you were played in secret. Oh my god, the chills when she says You hurt me, but I asked for more. Falling down your rabbit hole. I kept on biting back what I was feeling. How does she sound that good? I closed my eyes and you were there. Innocently unaware. Stop, stop. Tell me, tell me. Break my heart for all I care. As long as I get to be there. Stop me, stop me. Tell me. Is
a damn. It's so crazy. Pow sounds like she's not singing. That's how good of a singer she is. She sounds like she's constantly lip syncing. Because listen, to have that type of control when you're banging on a drum is really impressive. And obviously she's singing live. I would never think Pow would lip sync. God help me. That would never happen. But her vocals are so clear and steady even though she's hitting something. You would think her voice would get a little jumpy. No. Someone told me that she practices singing while running on a treadmill, which makes so much sense because the impact of running and you trying to sing, it helps you, it helps you, it helps you figure out to stop that jumpiness and have more control. I am so impressed by her. Like I can't even deal with how much talent is in this band. It's actually disgusting. There are days where I want to put music out and there are days I look at this band and I'm like, why? Why when there's people that are so much better than me? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm getting harassed today. Guys, what are we doing with our lives? This band is just killing it. Killing it. That was like such a beautiful song to have Pow Shine. But also I noticed her drumming is pretty basic. I don't want to call it basic because it's not basic. I don't know. It's just easier for her to kind of be repetitive in the sense where she can sing easily. But I think guitar wise, that song is just insane. I would love if The Warning came out with instrumentals. I think they would be absolutely stunning for every song they've ever done. I think it would just be beautiful to listen to. So yeah, if I know, I think on their Patreon, they have a thing on a specific tier where they can send you instrumentals to a song. Somebody get 23. I think it would be beautiful. And just let me hear it. I don't need to keep it. I just want to hear it. <laughs> Guys, I really am enjoying these videos so much. They have become, this is, this has become like my favorite live content from them ever. I am just in awe. Don't get me wrong. Like, Poland was great. Poland Rock was awesome. I'm going to do Vakken soon, so stay tuned for that. But it will only be on Patreon, so I really apologize. But I can't uh, can't put that on YouTube. But I'm just really hoping if they don't put all of these together, that someone else will. Because I think this is so iconic that it just needs to be available for purchase as a full video. Like the warning should sell this as a full video because I would be happy to own this. Even if it's digital, DVD, whatever, I would buy it in a heartbeat. I would pay good money for this full show. And I think everyone who is at this show <laughs> would pay full money to have this, you know, in their collection as well. Also, a live release of this show in general on Spotify would be wonderful. To top it off, what I want the most out of this show is this live on vinyl. Would you not die? I would die. If you're not a vinyl owner, I get it. But let's be real. If you're a warning fan, I bet you have vinyls and you don't even have a vinyl player. That's normal. I would I would do it too. I would do it too. I just love their vinyls. They're so sick. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. My vinyl of the day is Chemtrails Over the Country Club by Lana Del Rey. I just think it was such a beautiful reaction when I listened to this for the first time. As a huge Lana Del Rey fan, I don't get to react to a lot of her stuff, so I've been doing it with recent releases, and I never got around to listening to that one, and it's such a beautiful album. I just, you know, if you want to listen to it, cool. If you don't, all good. Uh, but if you are a Lana Del Rey fan, and you are the Warning fan, I would like to know. Simple as that. Go check out my other videos I posted today, and I'll see you guys in those, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Waiting for it. Smash. <laughs>